Guys, this is the best decision that I made for my skin last year. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> I'm so happy that I'm sitting down here doing this video because I didn't do a skincare routine video last year. And a lot of you have been asking, guys, if someone told me that I'll go an entire year on here without doing a skincare routine video, I would not even believe you. But guys, I didn't do a skincare routine video last year. And it's because I struggled with my skin so much. Late September, early September last year, I think that my skin actually cleared up enough for me to want to do an updated skincare routine video. But I was also saying, oh God, please, I just don't want to break out again. Travel to America in October, I've told you guys this before, and I broke out so bad, like, fam, I had this bumpy, 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 bumpy breakouts under the skin. And then the thing, about, the bad thing about them is that they always kind of matured into full-blown breakouts. It was just very stressful. But I'm happy now that I'm at a place where I kind of like everything. My skin is a lot smoother now. It's doing so much better. I'm just thankful to God. I'm just thankful that my skin is back to what it used to be. So I was like, it's time. It's time to give you guys a new skincare routine video. First, I'm going to start out with my cleanser. I'm going to talk about that real quick, but I want to clarify something before I start talking about the cleanser, because I know that some of you are going to ask. September, October last year, I was raving about Pixie's vitamin C range. I really, really, really love that range. That September window, you know, the, the time I was telling you guys that my skin looked really good before it got bad. I was using Pixie's vitamin C range and I really loved it. And I was running around in the States. You guys saw the vlog where I was trying to get more products from the range so that I don't run out when I come back to Nigeria. However, when I came back, my skin was so bad and I just stopped using the range completely. So for those of you who ask Dima, you stopped using the, you stopped using Pixie's vitamin C range, why did I stop? I shared and talked about it and talked of how much I was enjoying it at the time because it was working for me. But all of a sudden, it's almost as if it stopped doing anything and my breakouts got worse. But this was after I had gone and purchased more products. So I stopped using their products. So in case you're wondering about that range that I had already talked about sometime late last year, not using it again. So what I did was I stopped using every single product that I had been using since like late 2018 up until then in October because I wanted to figure out what was going on. I decided to start using black soap to cleanse my skin. I've talked about black soap before on this channel, talked about how I use them from my neck downwards because I always have like videos dedicated to like skincare on my face and you guys know that I always use certain types of cleansers. I've used Cetaphil in the past and I've used the Neutrogena ones in the past but I've never used black soap on my face like it's not something I do all the time. After I came back from the States I received the package from Noquara. I already shared that package on my Instagram. I had already used their share butter before because that had come in an Afri Beauty collective box that I received early last year or so. Really quick introduction, Nokwara is a Ghanaian brand and Nokwara itself, the word stands for or translates to truth. In Twi, Twi is one of those African languages that I love so much. I love listening to Sakodie and King Promise, irrespective of the fact that I don't understand one single thing that they are saying. But I think that it's one of those like languages that just sound very like sounds very beautiful and sounds better in songs too. I received three black soaps from them and because I had told you guys that I don't use black soap on my face, I use it from my neck downwards. I decided to try out their Boabab, Baobab. <laughs> Hold on, let me see if I can find the pronunciation for that. Baobab. 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 Okay, so I decided to use the Baobab. <laughs> That one and Shea Butter Black Soap first because it says it's for normal to combination skin and in all honesty, I have normal skin from my neck downwards and I used it and I finished it and I quite liked it. It has a very crisp, clean scent and my skin kind of felt good every time I used it. So I started using it and I finished it. And I thought it was nice. But I was still breaking out on my face. I had just run out of the cleanser that I was using at the time and I was trying to repurchase it, the Neutrogena Cream cream cleanser that I've told you guys about before and I was struggling to find a place. All the places I normally buy from you was sold out. I was like, let me look at these other black soaps that I had in the package. The first one was the activated charcoal. This is the only one that I haven't used so far. And this is the packaging you get with Nokari. I already said in that Instagram post that they are very, very organic. They're an organic brand, guys. They take the word organic very seriously. You see it in everything down to the packaging. They use very organic materials to package their things. Their shea butter comes in wooden jars. Um, even everything I'm going to show you guys comes in either wood or glass. They don't have anything that is not wood or glass or something that you can easily recycle. They are very serious when it comes to 
that. So I decided to try the neem oil one because I just read it really quickly. Let me see if I can find them. So this is the, the, the sale that the one I'm using now comes with and it says 100% organic, handmade and packaged in Ghana. So you get about 150 grams of products in each of the jars or the calabash. Okay, so each calabash contains 150 grams of product. So I went to the website to read more on these products and I saw that the activator charcoal one and the neem oil one was actually for people who had acne prone skin, who were oily and people who were dealing with uneven skin tone. I was like, okay, I've never used black soap as an everyday cleanser for my face. I might as well try. Guys, this is the best decision that I made for my skin last year. My skin is so clear now. I don't have breakouts anymore. All the breakouts that I had on my forehead I don't have them anymore. I still have some stubborn spots that are yet to disappear, but they don't look as dark as they looked before. I've not had any new breakouts in a very, very long time. See, I love it when things just make me happy. And I didn't even know that it was a bestseller till I went on the site and I realized that the Neem Oil Black Soap was a bestseller for so many reasons. Guys, when I use this, I'm so excited talking now and I get very animated when I talk, but guys, please, I want you guys to all go and check out this soap. I've not used the activated charcoal one, but I'm sure that it's probably the same thing. I'm going to really stress on the Neem Oil one because that's what I'm using. You can buy their products from Utopia Beauty. You can buy their products from their website. They ship to Nigeria via DHL. This also has a very crisp, clean scent. Their products don't have, especially the black soaps, they are not like, they don't have like serious perfumes in them. When I used this for the first time to wash my face, my, it, it, my skin felt very smooth immediately. Not like to the touch, but then you know when like you feel like all your pores are kind of tightened, they, they've kind of tightened instantly. I felt that with this. So every other product that I'm going to show you guys in this video, I had already started using before I added this last. Guys, do not acquire Neem Black Soap. For acne prone skin, oily skin, and uneven skin tone is the bomb.com. You guys can see that I've used this quite a bit. It's always in the shower, so I just have to scoop it every morning or in the evening while I'm in the shower and use it to wash my face. This is so good, and I don't think that I would ever use anything that isn't this on my skin again. I don't think that I would ever use any other type of cleanser. And I'm also happy because the ingredients in this are things that I understand. There are not a lot of preservatives, there are no parabens, there are no, there's nothing in here that you're not sure what it does and it feels amazing. The Nokare Black Soap sell for 1,350. It's actually one of the cheapest facial cleansers I've ever used in my life. This is my truth, okay? Love it. So the rest I can do on camera now for you guys to see. But this is a, a pack of cotton pads from Miniso. It's not that expensive. It's not up to 1K and you get a lot. I love these because they are very, very soft and they're very gentle on my skin as well. So I cleanse my skin right now with the Nokare cleanser, the Nokare Neem Black Soap. And then I move on to the Bolden Skin Brightening Toner. I really was big on tightening my pores and that was the reason why I went back to using this again. So between, I think, November and now, I've gone through two jars. This one is empty. When I switch to the vitamin C range, I kind of let this go and then I've come back to it with like full force, okay? Um, I'm going to just take this and I'm going to wipe my skin down. For those of you wondering where you can get this toner, you can get it from Med Plus. I said this in my previous video. I already talked about this in my last skincare routine video. So guys, you can go watch that video if you're interested. I feel like no matter how long you wash your face, every time you go over your face still with a cotton pad and a toner, you're still going to come you're still going to have some gunk on this. Okay, so after that, I go in with my acne.org. I went a month last year, like I said, September, I didn't use this at all. And when I started breaking out again, I just went back to it because at least when I was using it, my skin wasn't as bad as it became in October, if that makes sense. I've been using the benzoyl peroxide from acne.org for years now. If you've been following me for a very long time, you know that. This is really that treatment that I trust. I know that it kind of works as maybe some sort of disinfectant because what I've realized with this is that every time I use it, my breakouts, even if they come, they don't stay for as long as they should. You can order this from Amazon. Acne.org also delivers to Nigeria. Amazon delivers to Nigeria. I always buy mine from Amazon. I buy about three, three bottles at once, okay? I also felt at the time that a lot of the moisturizers that I would normally use were kind of heavy and guys all the moisturizers that i have ever used that have spf in them which is like something i consciously try to incorporate into my regimen 
the ones with SPF, from personal experience, they tend to be very heavy on my skin. I have acne prone skin and my skin is just like, a lot of things can easily clog my pores. So I found that all, this, all the moisturizers that I've ever used, even those of them that I love so much, they always, to a large extent, maybe lead to mild breakouts for me. So I started looking for something that I could use to hydrate my skin, but something that wouldn't break me out. When I went to Kenya in November, I wasn't using a moisturizer. So I went into the Use Rocher store with Sheila and Nancy, and... I saw this on display. So this is the Yves Rocher Moisturizing Anti-Blemish Care. This is from their Sable Vegetal range. The Sable Vegetal range is my favorite from Yves Rocher because the entire range is dedicated to breakout spots, all of that. It's very, very lightweight. It felt like a serum, like a very liquid serum. And I got it, I started using it, I haven't looked back. It has salicylic acid as a as an, an active ingredient. So what I do is I just kind of blot this on my face four times. It's very, very lightweight, guys. It doesn't clog my pores. It doesn't sit heavy on the skin. But then it doesn't have SPF. But guys, around the time I started using this, something had to give, okay? Most of the time when I go out, my foundation, my, the Max Your Fix Fluid Foundation that I use has SPF in it, so it protects me on my face because I'll most likely be wearing foundation. And when I am not wearing foundation, I wear a face cap and that protects my face from the sun as well. The only moisturizer for the face that I can recommend with my chest now with SPF is the Bolden one. I'm not even using it as much now. I've talked, I talked about it in my previous skincare routine video. I'm going to leave the full name in the description box. But then the weather was a lot drier during the hammer tan, so I could use it. It's a very, very hydrating moisturizer. Like, it's very hydrating, and I kind of stayed away, and I'm still staying away from those type of moisturizers right now. So, that's what I do. Normally after that, I just moisturize my lips. I've been using a lot this um, lip balm from Noquare, and this is the yeah, How I Pout Now. This is a very cute name, How I Pout Now Hydrating Lip Butter. I already talked about this in that Instagram post that I did last year. You guys can see that this looks very crusty. It's because it's always in my bag. I really love it. Like it's one of my favorite lip balms to use and I've been using it a lot more these days because it's organic. If you really, 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 really are into organic natural skincare and products, I'll really recommend that you check this out. You know that some lip balms are very like moisturizing however they don't give your lips any kind of sheen this gives your lips some sheen it kind of feels like you've used vaseline or something and i really like that these sell for 1350 they also come in a pack of four so this is the pack of four so if you want the pack of four i think that they are 4600 hold on like i told you guys nokara is very big on organic packaging so this is basically wood and glass so we're going to take the glass cover off. This is sweet mint. This is the plain one. And this is the wild berries one. Okay, so I have two more products to show you guys. And that will be it for this video. I have normal to dry skin from my neck downwards. And acne prone skin on my face in case you're not sure at this point. To moisturize my neck downwards. I love using shea butter. This is my second jar of shea butter from Noquare. So the aloe vera um, gel one is the one that I'm using right now. And this has a very nice scent to it. It's almost sweet and minty. I really love it. I've used quite a bit of product, okay? I really like the way that this one smells and a little fan. A little goes a long way. And it doesn't sit heavy on the skin. It's very, they are very soft and they've been whipped really well. One of these, they sell for 2,400, which I think is really decent, really good. It's not too expensive for very good, like good, good quality, high quality shea butter. I think that you get about five different scents with them in total. Depending on whichever one you want, they are all written clearly on the packaging. So you can read the description and find out what they do. Or you can go on the website and just read about the product in detail. Last thing that I'm going to show you guys, especially for those of us who are really active and go out in the sun, and I use this anytime that I know that I'll be spending a good amount of time under the sun, is this sunscreen. It's by a brand called Black Girl Sunscreen. It's very sheer, doesn't leave a cast on the skin, that purple bluish cast doesn't, it's not a heavy 
sunscreen a lot of the neutrogena sunscreens that i have tried or the, the other ones that i've tried they feel kind of sticky and sit heavy even if they don't leave a cast this isn't sticky or heavy on the skin it's really good it was made specially with black people in mind i hope you guys found this video helpful this is how i cleared my skin and i hope it helps you as well give it a thumbs up i'll see you in my next one Mwah.